So anyway, it ends in this massive, this arg I've had an argument now for an hour or so, to and fro in. Um, I'm not, she, she's not paying anything, apparently. Yeah, she's, you know, it's just a try on. We're not paying anything, we're not paying, paying anything. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. If you don't want to pay, that's absolutely fine. But just to let you know, I'll be around tomorrow with a pickaxe. We're taking your drive up. When, so this woman's been vile to me, said she's not paying me a penny and all this carry on. I then quite rightfully so lose my rag. And then you get gaslighted. Oh, I'm a woman. You're threatening me. I'm calling the police, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, Robert, you're trying to steal from me. What are you Right, everyone, uh, me and Fawzi, we just wanted to say thank Thanks you ever so much for all the biscuits Chocolate and crisps. They were beautiful. Really enjoyed them, didn't we, Fawzi? We did. Has your heart been uh, hurting a bit at the weekend? Just a little bit. Shaking a bit, sweating. Yeah. But we'll, we'll soon burn it off, won't we, mate? Yeah. Digging for a living. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, thank you again. Cheers. We've got to pull a silly face. <laughs> faster than the top. Goes down faster than a tar prostitute with a fifty dollar bill. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? So uh, this week we've got a skilled operator. He's a man whose name cannot be spoken in Thailand. Strikes fear into the heart of Lady Boys internationally. <laughs> Good morning, people. It's Nick at BNP Paving. Um, yeah, if you haven't already clicked, click the subscribe button. Please, it's important. It's really helping us grow as a business. Um, the amount of, uh, I mean, we didn't, it wasn't intention, it was just for a bit of fun, but we're getting quite a lot of work and leads coming in from people seeing this YouTube. So obviously the more people subscribe and the more people watch it, the more it gets out there and it's great for our business. So uh, yeah, thank you for those that have. Uh, and if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. Okay, so in this video, I wanna set a target so if you've seen, if you've even got to this point in the video, if you can just click the like button. And I don't know if people know, but what it does is the more likes it gets, the more YouTube think, oh, so people are liking this video and they circulate more and we get more views, more subs and so on. So if you can just click that like button, we'd love to get, say, what we got, just over 6,000 subscribers. If we could get 1,000 likes, that'd be amazing. It not cost anything. Please, please hit the like button. We'd love you to do it. Right, so let me tell you how my Monday morning's going. So first up, I wake up this morning, alarm clock goes off, and I'm still not very well. I've still got this bloody stomach cold, stomach bug. So, oh, great start. Not that you guys need to hear this on a Sunday morning, but there you go. Um, so that was my start to the day. So that kind of has thrown me off. Um, yeah, secondly, I'm starting a new uh, diet plan. So I am... Um, got uh advice to take to eat um bread with um avocado um which is kind of new to me i think i've tried it once before anyway for those of you some people love it it's a bit of a marmite some people love it some people love it but for those of you who have never had uh avocado before it's basically if you imagine you got one part broccoli and one part butter and you mashed it into a, a mash and then put it on bread and ate it, that's kind of where you're at. So it's kind of got the taste of broccoli, which I'm not against broccoli, but the consistency of butter at 10 mil thick, you know, it's like this thick on your bread. You're like, ugh, bleh. So I won't be doing that again, right? So then I set off to work and, oh no, tell a lie, let's go back a bit. Third, um, 
my Sky Digital was down again. I don't know if you guys have got bloody this Sky Q in your house, but I just have nothing but problems with it. I turn one box on, the other box goes off. Then it, the on-demand won't work. It's got no network. It, oh, God. It's been a never-ending, honestly. I think once I spent four hours on the on the phone to technical support trying to sort it out. So, um, yeah, that was this morning, trying to get the internet and the, the Sky back on. I'm, I'm quite tech-savvy as well, so it's not like I'm an idiot, but honestly... It's so temperamental. They've probably done an update on the box or something and it's shut down again. Um, right, so then I realised I get in the van and my fuel light come on Friday and being lazy, I didn't fuel it up, but I've just thought, oh no, so now I've got to do it this morning. Um, so I go, petrol, everyone knows petrol station on a Monday morning. Ugh. So I get to the petrol station. Luckily this time it wasn't too busy. However, the petrol station in question, it's a strange one, it's a co-op one, I believe, but it's a petrol station and a sort of mini supermarket so what you do is you'll get behind some someone at the pump, waiting to get to the pump, and they'll fill the car, go in, pick up a basket, and then do a full week shop. So you're stuck there. You can be stuck there for like 30 minutes, waiting and trying to navigate your van around to get into a, you know. So I don't understand why you would do that. I mean, for those people who are watching this from Nottingham, using the Mapley Top petrol station, Plains Road, Mapley, don't do your shop there, please. It's ever so inconsiderate. Could you not just go to a normal shop like everybody else instead of doing your shop on a Monday morning at seven o'clock? So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then on top of that, this thing here, this bloody jet wash here is driving me crackers. So, Karcher jet wash, right? The most brittle thing known to mankind. So, if Karcher, we're going to tag you in this. If Karcher are watching this, your stuff is rubbish. And I'll hold to it and I'll, I'll stick by it, right? All right, if you keep it in your garage and you clean your car every now and again with it. Granted, this isn't a professional one, but I wouldn't buy a professional one based on the quality of this. You know what I mean? Like, so first of all, if you tap, it's more delicate than an egg. If you tap it, bits of plastic fall off it. It's it's just shoddy. It's, it's shoddily made. It's I'll show you it in more detail in a minute. I'll get out of the van. Secondly, any form of frost or freezing temperature all the pipes explode in it. So if you use it and it's got water inside it, you leave it at the back of the van, overnight it freezes, the, the water expands, the pipes split. So then you go to use it and it doesn't work anymore. Water's leaking out the bottom. It's absolutely useless. So what's happened is we've ended up having to keep it in the cab of the van. I, I'm normally empty this, during in and out in the morning. So it ends up going on the floor on the thing. However, it's 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 dangerous. It's falling around. I'm driving this morning. It's getting stuck on the bloody handbrake. It's falling down. I've like I've literally, I nearly had a Basil faulty moment. I'll flick to it in a minute. I wasn't going to put it on here, but I'm going to just to show you. I lost my rag. I had to pull the van over. I was going to throw it out the van window. I'm that angry with it. I can't put it on the roof rack because someone would steal it. I can't stick it in the thing. Eh? I can't stick it in the back of the van because if like something hits it, it'll just get smashed to pieces. You know, like if the mixer moves to, you know, if anything, like if, if a rake fell over in the van and hit it, it smashes lumps of plastic off it because it's so brittle. So yeah, if Carter are watching this, you need to make either a metal-based one, granted metal and water, but like a stainless aluminium shell or something like that. So it's a bit more durable and light. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, I'll show you in a minute. It's so cheaply made. We've had um, other brands, like own brand B&Q ones that are probably better, if we're honest. Um, so I don't know where they get this rep from. Don't get me wrong, if you go up the range and go towards like your K3s, your K4s, things like that, they're great. And like you said, they are for, I suppose they bought for your sort of home use, clean your own patio, clean your car at the weekend. So they don't get, that, they're not travelled with that often. But they don't take into account people like us and they just get smashed up. And like you said, because of the quality of this, I've, I've looked into the... Um, I've looked into the professional ones and I just wouldn't dare buy one. I'm not spending a thousand pounds on a jet wash. It's just going to smash to pieces the first day it's in the back of a van. Um, so I know people are going to comment and say, we'll look after it, blah, blah, blah. Easier said than done. There's no way of stopping, you know, it's going to happen one out of 50 times. Something's going to, a shovel's going to, in the van in motion is going to knock it. So, so I finally got here. I'm not dead, um, but you might recognise this job. Um, we've had a call back, but not for the reasons you might think. Not for shoddy workmanship. Quite the opposite. The one is back to do more. And let me explain. You know what? I'm fuming. I'm about to pull over the van, right? So this is a message to Karcher, right? We have to keep our jet wash in the front of the van because it's that fr it's it's more fragile than a box of eggs. Like if anything touches it, it breaks. Something snaps off it. If it's left in the back of the van and it gets cold, yeah, it all the pipes expand and snap inside it and it don't work. 
So over the years, we've learned we have to keep it inside the cab of the van to avoid damage or, or frost damage on it, yeah? Only problem is, every time I'm driving, yeah, it's all over the van. It's driving me absolutely mental. You useless human beings. That way, driving one more time, you can watch on video as I pick it up and throw it across the road. Honest to God, I'm gonna have a Basil, Basil Faulty moment with this fucking thing. Right guys, so I don't know if you remember, but this is one of the first jobs we did in the new year. I think it was in the new year. Um, one where Prince Harry turned up. Do you know what? If I remember rightly, I think the weather was better then than it is now. But anyway, so um, yeah, but the customer has decided after the fact, there was a discussion about it and originally she was supposed to have the whole front done. So it would be like a, this triangle. Uh, and after a bit of indecision and a bit of indecisiveness, she decided she would leave that and just and just have this bit done, which is what we've done. But then after the fact, decided to now do this bit. However, the problem with doing this is when we were here, we were already digging out. It would have been took away, all the muck. DJ would have come and grabbed that. And the materials and so on. Anyway, long story short, it was probably about a £1,000 of work. However, now to do it independently... It's about two, three grand of work. We've got to come back. It's probably going to take three days. We've got materials, blah, blah, blah. It's just an headache. So, um, yeah, it would have been ideal to do it. So I do feel bad for her. I mean, she's admitted fault. It's her own fault and she's happy to do what she's doing with it. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, she's lost a bit of money doing it that way. So note to all the customers and people watching this, you probably need to be a bit more decisive when you do these things because it can come and bite you on the bum a little bit so um yeah like i said it costs us a lot more to come back and do it than if we're already here if that makes sense uh because like I say what would have been an extra day's work is turning to three days work and a load of a load of carry on so anyway the boys are arriving ryan's here connell's just speeding around that corner illegally <laughs> we'll crack on hiya <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Living the dream. You're living the dream all time. You're on video now, and also you're a superstar. I'm a porn star. Porn star? Yeah. What's the category? <laughs> Disabled old man. Yeah. <laughs> I do get a grip on you. What you been up to? Oh, good. Nothing. Boring. Can I be that? Um, out yesterday for a few It's all changed since you got that out. Eh? It's yeah. all changed since you got that out. <laughs> <laughs> Get them overalls. Uh, looks like Benny off Crossroads. <laughs> hey, you look like Benny off Crossroads. <laughs> you got anything sensible? No, not really. I turn video off now. Now you can be your normal self and swear and do whatever you want. best to dig to a line but sort of doing a triangular shape walk past the tree and down so if you see that we're going to get it out i'm going to stick it in a barrow it's not as we i thought it was a little bit more so it's it's not as big as we, we initially thought it was going to be um so there's probably not that much to dig out it's probably only a ton or two to go so uh this week we've got a skilled operator is a man whose name cannot be spoken in Thailand. Strikes fear into the heart of Lady Boys internationally. <laughs> this is our uh, digger operator and mechanic, Sean. You've probably seen before. Dab and on Miss Lowe, any machine really. We've got all the gear and no idea, any Chris? Is uh, yeah, standing on crossroads. 
just said his name's internationally feared in Thailand. Speak in front of any lady boy, he'll shake or quiver. Yeah, he's never made anyone shake or quiver, that lad. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> Got his glasses steamed up, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, I find a little troll in my van, look. A little troll. Poor old Connolly's after. We're, we're going to attempt to get a ton of. You're nut up. We're going to attempt to get a ton of stone in the back of here because we we need to get stuff here rapid. We're doing. Huh? We're not attempting. We're doing. There's no what is it? There's no uh, thingies round here. We can do. It's a can do attitude. Is it me? It's nice to see you cleaning the port loo anyway. <laughs> Just don't touch any plastic bottles, whatever you do. So, yeah, for any people wondering, in our game, where things, uh, yeah, where we have to go, this is our bathroom. It's beautiful. As you can see here, luxurious Chinese toilet. We've built it in B-Day. It's amazing. You never know what's going to happen in this game. So, yeah, just know, and keep it off your property. Right. So we've got here unprepared. Um, so we are going to get some tun bags to put the rubbish in or the rubble. We'll get that collected by DJ tomorrow. Ah! Sorry, our car's just uh, come flying up the road a bit too quick. Um, yeah, so we're going to get a couple of bags to put rubble in, and we're going to get the grab here tomorrow. But we also need a ton of roadstone to get us on to get going. I didn't order any on the load, um, so we're going to have to. Uh, start picking things up but luckily the builders merchant is nearby i'm hoping they do tons of roadstone i've got this horrible feeling they don't and if they don't it's a bit of a trek we'll have to go to lenton but uh we'll see how it rock and rolls won't we folds there we will indeed we will indeed what do you get up to at weekend folds there uh drank a few beers had a few beers folds yeah. you did on that's saturday night fo yeah. folds you went out went out drinking not too crazy did you go to gym this morning folds there did that bob did he bob that's the three day in it had a day off yeah, it's bad news. It's bad news when you get past 20, 25. So, right, let's get to John E's. Well, this is probably not the most sensible thing I've ever done. However, needs must. Watch this go down lot. Oh no. I'll tell you what, over the years I've blown my suspension a few times, but this van, touch wood, is yet to fail me. What could go wrong, Folds there? Absolutely no. What could go wrong with carrying a ton of stone in the back of a van? <laughs> what are you getting, Folds there? Uh, yeah, I mean, can I get five cappuccinos, please? Yeah, for you. Uh, that's it, thank you. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, big guns this morning. Do the viewers want to send some winners so we get some electric windows? Yeah. These wind up things in my head in now. The, little, the, the thing is now, we're getting a bit tired at whirly gigs. <laughs> whirly gigs. We're too popular for this. We're getting tired of whirly gigs. You know what a whirly gig is? Fuck off, set folder. Oh. Um, you know them things you put in your garden what's been random, dry your washing? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what my, my nana used to call it, a whirly, a whirly gig. Yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. find out some racial slur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've all got Connell's bank account details and that. Yeah, Cheers, yeah. mate. Thank you. As the Mackey's man, living his best life. Yeah, it all goes by weekend. Well, your bank's at your grand zero every yeah. Sunday, isn't it? Grand, grand zero, zero. bro. <laughs> Right, so I left the delivery order in late. I think I did it late Friday, which is all the delivery up today. Not their fault, mine for being unorganized. So we're having to come and pick everything up individually. So we've just done a ton of stone, we need another half. We're just fetching that now. Then I'm gonna come back and fetch some sand. 
and then we're gonna come back and fetch the blocks. Um, it's just gonna speed the whole process up. It's like half past 10 in the morning. I think the delivery is gonna be about two o'clock. So if we don't if we do not do it, we'll just be sitting around. So it's a waste of a day. So we're, uh, yeah, doing, it's a difficult way of doing things, but it will speed the job up. So yeah, uh, back to site we go. This is our second run, back to site, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick up the rest. We'll just keep doing runs with all these materials. The problem is I can only hold about a ton in this van, 700 kilogram or something, so. Uh, Okay, so we've just arrived back with a half ton of stone. We're gonna run it in now and we're just gonna get it in this. Uh, as you can see here, we're just a bit, we're a bit short. So we're gonna fill this hole up here with road stone. This needs topping up a bit more down at this bottom end down here. And uh, yeah, so that's the first thing. Um, and then we've got to nip off again and fetch a ton of wash sand. <laughs> so, and then bring that back and then go fetch a pack of blocks. So it's gonna be one of those days, but just shows you what we have to do. And um, again, it's my fault for being a bit unorganized um, or a bit last minute, um, but it happens every now and again, but you have gotta make it work. Right, so as you can see, things are coming to plan, going to plan, should I say. We're, uh, yeah, say the customer, the, 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 what I was told was it was about this big. So it, it's only tiny, it's just a little tiny bit. In my opinion, I don't understand why you would, but aesthetically she prefers it so it is what it is um yeah so we're about there we've so basically we've got to tie it back into the existing driveway we did so what we'll have to do now is all these cuts where the blocks have been cut like this anything that's been cut will have to come out and then we'll tie it back into the original pattern and extend it out um so as you can see we stack the border blocks we save them we'll bang them back in I'm waiting for some new blocks to arrive uh we're supposed to be here by now they haven't turned up but yeah, we're making good time, so hopefully we should be done. I can't see it's not being done tomorrow, to be honest. Okay, so that is all the stone in. Chris is just knocking the last bit around. So off on our travels again. We've now got to go and fetch, uh, what are we getting, Bert? Ton of wash, half ton of wash, something like that. So we're going on travels now and fetch some more of that. Um, yeah, and then we'll have to go pick the blocks up. Okay, so we're back at John A. Stevens in, where are we? West Bridgeford. West Bridgeford today. And we've got this half ton of wash come in. I'm gonna stick that in back of uh, back the old uh, urinal <laughs> in the back of the van. So this sand will go in, we'll get that out and then we'll be back here. I'm gonna pick up a full pack of blocks that are on top shelf up there. Uh, and that hopefully is our last little dummy run of the day. Uh, as it's getting a little bit tedious now going back and forth. It's about a mile drive, but yeah, it's a bit uh, a bit boring. Back Good, and mate. forwards. Right, off we go, folds there. Uh. How many runs have we done now? Is this the third one? Third. This is already third. One more, mate. There. Next time you'll order the stuff on time, won't you? Here he is, look, happy bollocks. Always, always. The face of John A. Stevens. <laughs> he were May, he were May in the thingy calendar. Come oh, on, he's mate. still got the magic. We'll warmed up a bit, we'll do one later. Yeah, it's a bit nippy. We'll in the, the summer, we'll get the muffins off. In the on. summer, you get the best start. Get the muffins off. <laughs> I thought he was going to expose himself then. I did. That'd have been frightening, wouldn't it, Folger? It would be good for the video, though, for the viewers. It reminds you of that time your granddad snuck in your bedroom with that whiskey breath, won't it? Hey! Good day, that one. Hey? That was a good day, that one. That's one of your favourites, wasn't it? Yeah. Look back fondly. You know, like the kind of nostalgia and love, like in the film The Snowman? Oh, no, like the, 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 like the nostalgia and the music that right, makes you feel inside. Connell gets that same when he smells whiskey on an old man's breath. <laughs> I don't know why, because now I'm getting paid. Yeah, he's, you know he's getting some dough. That's how he used to earn his pocket money, innit, it, it? Do what you got to do. Do it to survive. So morally, we shouldn't be loading it this ever. No, no, morally, you're bankrupt. Right, go down at that. Let's have a look what happens. Oh, 
faster than the tire. Goes down faster than the tire prostitute with a fifty dollar bill. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? The top. Or is it flat on the bottom? It'd be all right. Might spark a bit. Uh, no wrong with that, look. Safe as there, it used to be a gap here, didn't there? You're living in the past. <laughs> Police <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to be a police interceptor going four mile an hour, aren't I? <laughs> hey, I won't give up. I'll keep well, going. You won't struggle to catch, you will. Like I won't, don't need a sting. I've only got to go over a speed bump. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Oh, I don't want to do it. Right, so anyway, jokes aside, I'm going to have to edit this video massive because the stuff that guy just came out with was horrendous. However, oh, put that joke in. it continued. Yeah, it's fine. Viewers love it. Eesh. I don't know. Anyway, that actually has legal weight in it. That's allowed. However, whether it's sensible or not is a different question. However, it's needs must. And we're literally about half a mile from, from where we are now. So, we'll give it a go. Things are moving along nicely. We've got the area in now. You can see where it's joined here, where it's slightly higher because we went whack at it. It's all in, cut in, a few little bits to do. Cut here, look, concreting it all in now. Tomorrow we'll sort the lawn out and uh, lower it a bit, lift this man all into position, which is a really awkward position. But it's starting to look pretty good. A bit quick wash down in the moat. So there we go. Okay, so that is all done for today. It's a new patch here, or should we call it extension? New driveway extension. We've all concrete, all the concrete's in, but we've got to let it set now. This evening and, uh, for the morning, and we can't do anything much with it now because it will all move. So there you go. Good morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP Paving. We are having a nice rainy day, as per usual. Uh, first thing, sometimes you've got to be careful what you wish for. So on Sunday, I discussed about people not buying uh, tap attachments for the back garden. Um, they always have like the outdoor tap, the little brass tap, but they don't have a uh, the little screw adapters. Uh, and then in the post last night, I got two. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bit of a joke gift to be honest. I've got enough to last uh, about three years now, so well no it won't actually but um yeah so I don't actually know um who sent these to be honest because I don't think they were labelled but um thank you very much it's very we're very grateful yet again so uh however sorry let's put something in the van so do good job however please don't feel the need to keep sending us stuff we were only messing around we're okay thank you so uh the problem i've got is i can't really return gifts and, and money to everybody who does it so we would uh prefer if you didn't at the minute i think that's enough for now so uh but thank you very much two hours later i have had to come away from the job i am absolutely fuming oh let me tell you all right okay so as i said earlier in the video we um we were supposed to be, we did this job in january and we were supposed to be digging out the whole driveway and replacing the entire everything getting rid of all the grass gone everything the tree the lot however the customer was very indecisive and was messing around and um yeah just just a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare um, and in the end, she decided that she wouldn't do the grass part of it. She's only going to do some of it. And uh, we reduced the price accordingly. So I think, if I'm honest, we knocked about a thousand odd pound off or something for, for doing that, for not doing that section. Um, 
And that was the end of that. We did the job, everyone was fine and we got paid. However, within a month, um, I start getting messages like, oh, I want the rest doing now. I've just, oh, I've got, it's my fault. I got it wrong. I should have done the whole lot, um, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, mm. and the problem I have is, and I'm always honest with people is, as a bigger company, we struggle with our overhead to do smaller jobs. We've got, them lads, everyone has to get paid, the four of us, every single day. Um, you know, the four of us, I can't just see to two of them, Connell and Ryan or Colin and Burks don't come in. You know, it, it's how it works. I explained to the customer, um, I repriced the section she wanted doing up um, and it was accepted and a deposit paid and everything else, it's all booked in. So we get there Monday morning, which you've seen in the video, and I knew it was coming. I knew, because when we deducted the granddad off, I think she expected that to then, for us to come back, it would be the same amount of money, but it's not because we have we've got to come back, we've got, there's the labour, there's, you've got to get the JCB back, you've got to get a whole, whether you've got a ton on a grab lorry or the full lorry, you need another grab lorry, you've got to get the materials, you've got, to, so the costs start mounting up, um, you know, you've got to pay us all for our time again, it would have taken, you know, it's probably three hours extra work when we were there originally, but now it's become a two-day job, you know, three day, well, supposed to be three days, but I'll get there, right, so we turn up Monday, Everything's fine, price agreed, blah, blah, blah. We, we set out, she wants her whole lawn doing, and we set out the boundary, and her and her husband come out and say, no, we don't want that. We don't want that whole thing done. We just want it to here. So they make it smaller again, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. But I've put in three days. I haven't got anywhere else to work. That job is what we've got booked in. We've got three days booked in on that job. So I can't go anywhere else. I can't, you know. So anyway... Everything's fine. She sets out where she wants it. We get her out, and double check it. We triple check it when we cut the borders, just to be sure. Everything's fine, as you've seen in the video. All well and done. We complete. Yesterday we've done all the concrete, and today we went in. We set the manhole on concrete. We reduced the lawn a little bit. Top sawed it. Just did those finishing little bits. Sanded, wackered. Didn't get that in the video, unfortunately. I do apologise, but I was off quoting. Um, all done. Knock on the door. We finished. Blah blah blah. I drive off. Phoned it. Um, I said, "Oh, if you can mind transferring the balance over?" You know. Um, get a ding on my phone. Um, yeah, um, I'm not happy with what we agreed because you said it was it's X amount for three days labour, but you've only been here for two days or a day. You've only done a day. I'm like, well, I haven't done a day. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning at this point. I'm like, I have to pay the boys for the full day. So it's two days. And also it's a price. It's not a day rate. Um, and the reasons the job's got done quicker is because you've made the job smaller again. So then I'm going to be penalised for it, you know. So we've worked really hard to get it done um, as fast as we could. We've, we, you know, we've done it to top standard, top spec. Um, I've got it done quicker. And then you're going to try and knock our wages for it. So anyway, it ends in this massive, this argument. I've had an argument now for an hour or so, to and fro in. Um, I'm not, she, she's not paying anything, apparently. Yeah, she's, you know, it's just a try on. We're not paying anything, we're not paying, paying anything. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. If you don't want to pay, that's absolutely fine. But just to let you know, I'll be around tomorrow with a pickaxe. We're taking your drive up or what we've done. I'm, I'm, you're not getting away with it. You know, we're not doing the whole court thing. Because if anyone knows about the court thing, it ain't worth it. For the amount of money that I'm owed, it, it's the stress, it takes years. You've got the fees. It's a, it's pointless. And this woman think... Oh, I found I can be disrespectful. I don't mean this woman. This customer, um, she thinks she's right. You know, they think they're convinced that they're right. So, you know, like, if you um, ordered a three-course dinner at a restaurant, one of these set meals, and at the end, and it was £19 or 20 quid, and at the end, you didn't eat your pudding, you wouldn't go, hey, I'm not paying the 20 quid because I didn't eat the pudding. Like, it don't work like that. You wouldn't have an extension built and... They quote four weeks, they get done in three, and you go, right, well, I've paid you 40 grand for your extension, and you said four weeks, it's only took three, so I'm only going to give you 30 grand. It don't work like that. But apparently it does in my industry. I, I suppose you guys in the comments, I wonder what you guys have to deal with. So she's adamant that I'm ripping her off, and I'm a cowboy, and you've only done it. Just trying it on. She was never happy with, you know, she was indecisive in the first place. She was never happy that then she had to pay more to have that same bit done. And it's just a try on. But anyway, you know, so then it gets, you know, it gets a bit nasty. And I'm like, look, 
pay them. I'm, I'm never, I'm not, I'm not rude. I'm talking, I'm talking to you guys now. I'm a big guy. I maybe come across a little bit. It's very thingy. So, and it's quite difficult if we're honest when speaking to a woman as well, because and not all women, and this really, really upsets me or makes me angry is I grew up with just my mum and my sister. So when, so this woman's been vile to me, said she's not paying me a penny and all this carry on. I then quite rightfully so lose my rag. And then you get gaslighted. Oh, I'm a woman. You're threatening me. I'm calling the police, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you, Robert, you're trying to steal from me. What are you talking about? So anyway, it's ended in this sort of argument. It's got really heated. I've just left it where, like, I'm coming around tomorrow with a pickaxe. I'll be honest with you. I don't care about the consequence. Like, I'm not bothered. I know my rights. Like, if you haven't paid for that stuff, I own it. I own that woman's, that part of her driveway. I'll take it home with me. I don't care if I lose money because if I let one person get away with it, they tell all the friends and you're in for it. And I've seen it happen to friends over the years. I've had a couple of mates, electricians and so on, they do a little job for someone, they get knocked 200 quid. And then they tell the mate that they're a walkover and it carries on, carries on. Like, on sheer principle, me and Chris won't allow that to happen and we never have. Um, but it's just a really shitty, it's a shit situation because she won't see my perspective. She's adamant she's right that she's been had and she's paid too much money, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. You probably could have got someone to do that bit of work a bit cheaper, but I gave you my price. I didn't particularly want to do it for this reason and the reason that, as I've stated, it's very difficult to me to, for me to price competitively on tiny little jobs like that because of my overheads. Um, you know, I've been bombarded into doing it. I mean, I ignored her for a couple of months, kind of. I didn't want to do it. I was very dismissive. I was hoping she'd just settle with it, and she didn't. Um, you know, I got an answer machine message. You know, I'd be trying to get hold of you. And, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, we'll, 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 I'll, I'll come and do it then. And I gave her a quote, which I thought she'd say no, because I didn't want to do it, because it was too much money. Um, well, not too much money, but it's what it cost me to do that size of job with my overheads. Um yeah, and I uh, I didn't think she'd accept it. She did, with the full intention of doing this. So, um, yeah, it's ended up in this big palaver. I've had to um, get a bit aggressive. You know, not aggressive, assertive, we'll call it, as I'm speaking now, just this tone of voice. I'm not putting up with it. You bang out of order, that kind of thing. She's transferred the money over now, um, and hopefully that's the end of it. But she's left it with she's calling the police and I've done this and I've done the other. And as you guys can see, this is what this lady probably doesn't know. We post these videos every single week. Like you guys can see how we operate with our customers, how we are every single week. We've got evidence to support the fact that we don't behave in that manner. You know, the, the other funny thing, I'm calling trading standards. That's the famous one. Trading standards in Nottingham call me or have on occasion to rectify other people's work um, who have been ripped off. Like, I go out and give quotations and assessments and, and so on for trading standards. Um, I've got the... I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I've got the lady from Nottingham um, Trading Standards phone number, mobile number. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. But, um, but it is quite frightening that um, she's adamant she's right. And I can see her point slightly, but then you can't agree... You know, you've you've agreed. She's she's saying now it wasn't agreement, it was a quote. I never um she's rang citizens' advice and they've said that it's a quote, it's not a contract, and da da da. But it's like it kind of is like you added for us you had the driveway done, which was contracted, you've then agreed a price for the add-on, you've paid a deposit for that. So I'm assuming when you pay the deposit, you're accepting the terms of the price that were negotiated at that point. You don't then try and negotiate the price on completion. And if I'm honest, I could see it coming. She'd been elusive for uh, the couple of days, hardly speaking to her. So I could feel it coming. I knew. I've been doing this long enough. I can spot my mile away. Um, but it's something we have to go through in, uh, sometimes in the battle. But um, yeah, it's a shame. It's left a bad taste in my mouth. Bit of a bitter end to the week for BNP paving on, on this one. But, you know, we'll get an, we're on to another. We're booked up for months. We'll be on to another job um, next week. And that will be the end of it. But you know what? I wasn't going to post this stuff on here, but I just think it's real life. It's honest. This is what happens in business. And I think you guys deserve to know what's going on. Um, and, you know, other, there'll be other, other guys or girls watching here who've been through this same thing who will relate. Um, it's a nightmare. It's a minefield in business. But you know what? If you let these people get away with it, they'll be all over you. So rule of thumb is, if you don't pay your bill, if you don't pay, we're taking it away. If you don't pay on completion that is contracted, 
I will be back the next day with pickaxe and your driveway is going on the back of my van or in the back of a grab lorry. I don't care if it costs me money, we won't tolerate that kind of behavior. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry it's not a happy one this week. I hope you enjoy the video anyway. And I suppose this bit is what it's all about. So we'll catch you next week. Peace.